Uh, underway, it's gonna be delicious. Uh, aki and saltfish. I know it looks like eggs, it's not. That's the aki. No idea how happy this makes me right now. <gasps> To call grandma, grandma, do you think that my my ackee and salt fish and fried dumpling looks good? <laughs> Aisha here, same pajamas, same day, different meal. So I am getting ready to prepare this paella. So I have, I'm laying everything out. I think what's going to be good about this. One, I've never made paella before, believe it or not. Um, but I think the cool thing about it is I'm literally using what I have on hand. Um, we've been following all of the social distancing, stay at home orders very, very well. Um, and so this is literally stuff that I've been hoarding. So you'll notice like the bell peppers are a little ready to go, but we're gonna use them today. Um, I have some frozen shrimp. I've got chorizo that I've been holding on to. Unfortunately, I don't have chicken thighs. I just have some chicken breast that I'm gonna season up to put into it, but I think it's gonna be great. And I think, you know, it's gonna, this should be interesting. Let's get into it. For the chicken, I'm gonna season that from now so that when I get to cooking the paella, it's gonna be well seasoned and ready to go, especially since I'm not using um, something with a bone in. Um, it's not going to cook for as long as it traditionally would. So I have my green seasoning. Um, this is the green seasoning for my first cookbook. We serve it at the restaurant. It's great. I'll post it up after this video. But I'm going to do green seasoning, some garlic, lime juice, thyme. Um, and that should be good. This is going to sit for about an hour. I'm going to chop up all my onions and peppers You're and everything. Video, and mama. basically have it mise en place. Yeah, so that when I'm ready to cook, we'll go. My mom's in my video. <laughs> It has begun. I am browning my chicken breast. I have all of my other ingredients laid out here. It's getting exciting. Woo! My chicken's brown. I also did some chorizo and then into that same pan I have my peppers and onions going. I'm gonna hit it with some vermouth to help deglaze a little bit and get all of the bits off of the bottom. And go the tomatoes. rice is in. I'm going to let this get coated and cook off for a little bit and then I'm going to add in my saffron um, chicken broth that I, so I made this chicken broth earlier um, and put some saffron threads in it and that's going to be the broth that cooks this through. Here we are now. This is going to bubble and boil and cook for about 10 minutes. I'm going to put that chicken in, let it cook for another five, 10 minutes, and then pop on my shrimp for the last five, and my peas, and we'll see where we're at. This has been interesting. All right, 10 has passed, so I'm gonna place my shrimp on now, and we're gonna let it cook for another five to 10. I'm so excited, you guys. So another 10 minutes has passed. I'm going to crank this heat up for about 30 seconds so you get that sokarat, that crust at the bottom of the paella that people like to fight over. And then I'm gonna cut the heat off and cover this with foil and let it rest and we'll be done. I'll garnish it with herbs, little lemon slices on the side. Ha! Guys, it's done. Look at my baby. I'm gonna take that bay leaf out, garnish with some fresh herbs. Bone apple tea. This is the cast iron fruit cake. It's from the first cookbook. This is my cast iron skillet. And I'm gonna pour in my cake batter. It's so easy. Into the oven, 350, 30 minutes. 